Mars is called the red planet because it looks redder in the night sky than the other planets, but it's really mostly shades of brown and gray. That changed this week when Perseverance delivered a surprising burst of color. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance arrived at its current location more than two weeks ago. After a few saws of work on this slab of bedrock shown with Mars Guy for scale, it hasn't done much else. A rare dawn to dusk imaging campaign that I presented last week provided a glimpse of a saw in the life of a Mars rover. This week, Perseverance practiced its robotic arm Tai Chi, an occasional exercise that lets the mass-mounted cameras inspect some of the instruments. The little motor-driven covers on Sherlock and Watson are the focus of interest, probably to document how much dust is accumulating and also to inspect the electrical connections. The large turret that holds these instruments has to rotate and the arm has to reorient just so to get all of these images. It was during this photo session that the stars aligned to create something extraordinary, or I should say the star aligned. As you can tell from the washed out portion of this scene, the mass mounted cameras are pointed toward the sun, which is still high in the sky at 2.48 in the afternoon. The scene looks a little different with the other nav cam 42 centimeters to the right. In this case, it captured something unexpected. When I first saw this image, I thought maybe the rainbow colors were from a lens flare, a camera artifact produced under intense illumination. But closer inspection shows very distinct color bands and an oval shape with no rays or artifacts tracing back toward the sun and no other artifacts across the whole image. I haven't seen this in any previous navcam images, so it sure seems like the colors are on the ground. It looks like a reflection from something on the rover, but what? An obvious possibility is something on the instrument turret, but as shown in this now vintage set of images from early in the mission, the other side has nothing shiny. The white cover of the pixel instrument is bright, but not shiny. So something else on the rover is probably responsible. This is where a selfie from the Watson camera out on the arm can help. Almost exactly one Earth year ago, Watson shot this selfie after dropping off one of the last tubes in the sample depot. See episode 90. There are no shiny bits on the notably dirty rover, especially one that could diffract sunlight, except that is, or the most likely one, at the very top of the camera mast. Up above the mass cam Z cameras and the smaller nav cams is SuperCam. It's got a telescope with a 110 millimeter mirror, a Schmidt corrector plate, and a protective outer window. I'm guessing that some combination of these reflective and refractive components creates a prismatic effect that beams a rainbow back out when sunlight enters at just the right angle. And note that SuperCam is designed with a sun safety strategy that prevents damage when this happens. So now it looks like, in addition to the laser that fires from SuperCam, it also makes rainbows. And on a planet that hasn't seen rain for billions of years, this is the next best thing.